Hello, I am going to show how to upgrade the firmware on this iPhone iPad to HDMI HDTV adapter. Here are the steps. Uh, we're going to go through step by step on this video, so you don't really need to read through it. It is there for reference. First thing, we need to download an app called EasyCast. That is the application we're going to use to upgrade the firmware. It's a free app. Uh, but we need an app to upgrade the firmware on the adapter. So that's download is started. After this download is completed, the next step will be enabling the hotspot on the phone. The adapter will use the hotspot on the phone to download the firmware. The hotspot essentially use your mobile data so be aware there's a little bit of mobile data will be used to upgrade the firmware the software download is completed so now let's go to iphone settings and uh, turn on the hotspot if you look at it my personal hotspot is off now i'm going to turn it on click that personal hotspot then turn it on so it's all done now let's connect the adapter to the HDMI port you can connect to one of those monitor with the HDMI port or you can use you know you can connect it to your HDTV I have a monitor that has a HDMI port so I'm using that and connect the USB power to the USB uh, USB port to the USB power uh, you don't need to connect the phone yet because we need to make some changes in that after. Now you can see uh, the initial screen pop up and next step will be to click the button that is on this uh, HDMI adapter. There's a small hole and the, and the adapter use some kind of a sharp uh, needle and click that button. When you click it it will go from plug and play to OTA. The OTA stands for uh, over the air. And um, next, you connect to your uh, the I, iPhone. If you notice, on the rightmost top corner, there was a red dot with a cross on it. After you connect to your phone, it will turn into into W looking uh, icon, a blue W looking icon. What it means is um, the adapter is ready for firmware upgrade, and it's also uh, capable of connecting to the OTA or the Air firmware upgrade. Launch the EasyCast application. After you launch the EasyCast application. Um, you will see that W looking icon and the uh, rightmost corner on the top. Select that. What it will do, it will try to connect to the adapter. So the application is now connecting to the adapter. It is connected now. The next step will be to select, there's a three line, small lines on the left top corner. Select that. Once you select it, you will see firmware OTA. Select that option then you will get this pop-up that will show you what is the firmware on the adapter as well as what is the latest firmware available. Click OK. Now the firmware upgrade will start. First thing, it will download the latest firmware and next step, it will start upgrading the adapter. If you see it, it is started already and the screen will go blank doing this upgrade and after that it will restart and show you the percentage of upgrade on the screen now you can see it it says start installation and you can you can see the percentage of upgrade showing on the screen please do, do not turn off the power do not remove the usb power or please do not remove the connection to your phone let the process complete the process takes about two to three minutes so be patient but you can also see the progress on the screen anyway i fast forward to the end of the upgrade process 
so you can see it is completed now the installation is completed right after the installation is completed the adapter will restart automatically so you can see that it is restarted and the initial screen will pop up and it will show plug and play now the plug and play option is selected and it will automatically start doing in the screen mirroring of your phone since the phone is connected uh, with that app right now you can see the screens are now mirrored and the upgrade process is successfully completed I'm just browsing through to make sure everything looks okay and I can see everything comes up clean I'm just going to launch uh, YouTube to see the full screen of the, the screen mirroring. There you go. Now you can see the full screen screen mirroring. They both are sync. So they are all set. At this point, everything looks good. So whenever there's a major iOS upgrade, there's a possibility we need to upgrade the firmware. So be aware of that. So thanks for watching. Um, right now, if you don't want to keep those EasyCast app, you can delete them as well as you can switch off your um, hotspot if you don't need it. Thank you.